Hello everyone. Um, in this video, I'm going to go over um, the saving accounts um, in which you have periodic regular payments. Um, so in, uh, in these saving accounts, it's like, a, for example, like a retirement account uh, in which you make monthly payments or like regular payments. But in, in, in real context, we do um, monthly payments. That's the, that's the usual way. Um, so this is the formula derived for, uh, for the accumulated value in that account, accumulated balance. So PMT is your regular payments, monthly payment amount. APR is the, um, it's kind of like the annual rate or annual, um, kind of sometimes it's just called like the annual yield um, or annual return. So that's kind of like your, the percentage that you simply get um, in your account in a year um, compared to the initial balance. And then N is the number of payments per year. So so you see like that's the number of regular payments per year and this is in our examples it's going to be 12 because we're going to be making monthly payments and why is the number of years be careful sometimes this number of years is given to be for example um if you're if you're talking about let's say six months if we're talking about let's say six months um in this case like let's say as an example six months will simply refer to 0.5 years you have to convert it all the time whenever you use the formula a is called the accumulated balance or the future value and um the present value of this account is called the principal so um um so it's it's kind of like zero at the beginning but um yeah if if that's if that's if you're looking at the present value at the beginning that's like zero but we don't use that in here in this formula we're simply using the actual monthly payments so let's go over some examples and i'll also show you how to use a calculator so here's the first problem it says you have a savings plan um and the rate is two point so um let me just first uh write down the formula for that so it's going to be the feature value a will be the monthly payment and then times the top we we use i mean uh folks the bracket and the parentheses they're the same they use the bracket as the second parentheses so instead of using like two parentheses we just use the parentheses and then a bracket so that's like um it's one plus the APR divided by N raised to the power uh, N times Y, then minus one and then close the parentheses and then divided by APR divided by N. Now in this problem, you're making monthly payments of $100. So that's your PMT. This is my PMT 100. Then I times it by, now I'm going to copy all those values into the formula. So I have 1 plus APR, you need to convert it into decimals. You know, you move that decimal place 2 to the left, so it's going to be 0 0.025. That's going to be 0 0.025. And then we have 12 payments, it says monthly, so N will be 12. And then raise to the power at the exponent i have um, five times 12 because that's like five years so this is y minus one according to the formula and then i have 0 0.025 divided by 12. now we're going to plug this into the calculator i'm going to show you how you do this on the calculator um, I'm going to use TI-384 for this purpose. Guys, please uh, don't forget here bracket means parentheses. So whenever you see a parentheses or bracket, use exactly the formula on, on when, when you're typing here. So like I have 100 times, I have brackets, so that's parentheses. I have another parentheses. Now I put 1 plus... 0 0.025 divided by 12 and then I close the parentheses as you see 
Then I explain, this is the caret for exponentiation. Then I open parentheses, I put five times 12, close the parentheses, minus one, and then again, close the parentheses, that's the bracket. And then I have the division, so I divide it, and then again, open the parentheses. I have a point zero to five, and then divide it by 12, and then close the parentheses. As you can see here, I simply typed in the formula. So I simply just typed in the formula. Um, I didn't do um, I didn't do anything like um, anything special, but that's that's simply what I did. I just typed whatever I see in here on the formula. Then I hit enter. And I get the answer. So that's um, so the balance after five years will be <clears throat> six thousand three hundred. I mean, maybe I can I can put that here. Same way, this is this is what you get six thousand six thousand three hundred eighty four dollars and five cents. So this is what we have. So I hope I, I hope this example is clear. I'm going to solve one more example. So as you see, um, again, as I said, you simply plug in the numbers in the formula, and you simply follow whatever you type, whatever you have in the formula, and you type it on the calculator in the same way. Now let's go to the next example. So here's the next example. This is um, just be careful. Sometimes people really uh, kind of mix this problem with the one in which you have the compound interest formulas. Um, now, this one, if you read the problem, you will just get it. That you, you will just understand that this is like a savings account. You want to purchase a car in three years and you will pay $15,000. And you want to save this much money. So this is like your feature value. And your bank offers a plan with an APR of 5.5%. And if you make regular monthly deposits, see, you have monthly payments in here. It's not like a one-time deposit. It's not like the actual compound interest formula. This is a savings account with the feature value 15,000. If you wanna try, you can try um, by pausing the video now the point is this guys um this time your this is your feature value so this is like your a that's your target value and you want to save this much within three years with a savings account it says see you make regular monthly deposits so if i copy that formula from top like let's um use that formula that's that's the formula here um, what you really need to do is this time you need to write it in the other form that your A now becomes 15,000. So you have 15,000 equals to the monthly payments are not known. We'll try to find that. And then I have, um, one plus APR is 0 0.055. I'm doing like payments of uh, 12 times a year monthly so it's gonna be 3 times 12 because that's like uh, 3 years minus 1 then divide it by 0 0.055 over 12 so this is the problem that you need to solve see PMT the monthly payments this is your unknown we want to find that so that's an equation and it's easy to solve. What we really need to do here is calculate this side by using a calculator. Let's do that. Again, we're gonna type the exact same formula in there. Let's type that. Oh, I'm sorry. So we have parentheses, parentheses, one for bracket, one for parentheses, one plus 0 0.055 divided by 12 close the parentheses and then exponentiate that and then open the parentheses it's three times 12. 
Sometimes students do that as 36, which is absolutely fine. I'm trying to teach you here to use the formula directly, how you plug that in the calculator. Then I have minus one, close parentheses, and then divided, open parentheses, 0 0.055, divided by 12, and then close the parentheses. If I hit enter, I get 34, 39.04333145. Use as many decimals as possible. You may even just save that one because this is the number that you will divide 15,000 by. It's kind of like this. The formula you have 15,000 15, equals to the PMT times, you got this to be 39.043331. Just check that. 145. Why do I, I mean, you can keep like six decimals, that should be good enough, but still, if you keep more, you will make your PMT accurate, especially if you're using like a software like MyMATLAB or Peer or, or Cengage, the, the number, the, the roundings will be really important because the computer may get it wrong, so just be careful. Um, use as many decimals as you can, I mean, you can. So I divide, so to get PMT, I need to divide 15,000 by that number, by whatever I got, 39.04333145. Then let's see what I got in this case. So it's going to be 15,000 divided by 39.04333145. One, four, five. There are ways to say that number, but yeah, it's fine. I did the classical trick computing. So I got 3384. The monthly payments will be $384.19 that we rounded to near a cent. So that's how you do these problems and how to how you implement the formula on the calculator. I hope this this uh, example is clear. So all the other examples about this sec this section or this um, uh, this concept really um, are of this type. You find PMT, or of course, like um, that's like at the basic level. Um, and I try to solve like two problems. You can you can implement these to um, to different uh, different problems. So thanks for watching. Bye.